Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to display the dynamic numerical values in the visualization window of a, of a CADESIS program or project. So here, for example, we have a very simple program in which a timer off delay is used to control the uh, motor's state using the start push button or start switch, let's say. Uh, in the visualization we have a switch for the start and the pilot lamp for the motor uh, of the project. Uh, I would like here to display the elapsed time after we press the, uh, after we change the state of the start from uh, true to false. I would like to show the amount of time which is elapsed or passed. So to do so, uh, we can, okay, let's start by inserting a label. Elapsed time and in order to show the value of the time, the elapsed time, I will use a text field. And as the, as the text property of the text field, I will use a placeholder, percentage placeholder with i, and then milliseconds. In this case, the value displayed in stop percentage i will be obtained from the text variable, which I will set it here as the elapsed time. Uh, all right, where is the, okay, okay. So that, that's all. Now if I run the program again after logging in, Uh, all right, so if I, now the program is running, the motor is turned off, the elapsed time is equal, it should be equal to zero at the beginning, all right. So if I start the program, so the motor is turned on, if I turn off the switch, it's false, and here the elapsed time, uh, okay. There's something wrong. The motor is turned off, but we don't see the value for the uh, for the lapse time here. Let's check what's wrong with that. So let's go back to the visualization here. And the properties, properties we have, yeah, milliseconds, and then text. Ah, okay, it's not set. Now, yeah, if you double check, it's already set. So let's try again by saving, logging in, and then running the program. Okay, so yeah, so we have zero as the elapsed time. Turning on the motor, the timer is not. Uh, actuated, let's say. Whenever I turn off the input, so the start goes from true to fast, the timer will be actuated and it will take 10 seconds for the output of the timer to turn off, as you already know from the previous video. And here we see the elapsed time in terms of milliseconds. It will go up to 10, 10 seconds or 10,000 milliseconds and then the motor will be turned off. And the value at the elapsed time remains the same until we uh, actuate the timer, the T of timer again. So in this way you can display the uh, numerical values which are dynamic, which are not constant in the visualization window. 